Yeah, good day everybody, Berkey Plays here. Welcome to episode 8 of AFL Evolution. Let's get straight into our round 9 tap cup match against the Sandringham Dragons. We're the away teams and they've chosen to play at the Port Melbourne's ground today. My VFL team, by the way. So, yeah. It's round 9, so... I don't know how many rounds are there in the Tech Cup. I know the I know the grand final is on the day the VFL grand final in the morning, so it's the week before the proper AFL grand final. Here we go. We're underway. Am I captain? Yes. I thought Guerra was, but anyway. Oh, I've just skipped right through the toss. Wow. Don't know who won it or anything. That is disappointing from Berkey, I know. Kenneth Anthony goes out wide and he turns it over to Gary Sam Samuels. Very, very naughty. Chesley. Earl. Lolly's turned it over. No, he's turned back straight back over to him. What is going on? And now he's turned... What is this, a turnover game or something? And it goes to ground. Guira picks it up, goes for home, and gets the first goal. He hasn't kicked too many in the recent weeks. Anyway, Isaac Granville off. Ian Denmark on. Ian. No, it goes to Grant. Stay in the forward line, Berkey. Stay in the forward line. Oh, he's dropped the mark. Holding the ball. No, talk will. And no, that's not something in a faraway language. It's the player's name. Like, hello in Spanish or something, which is hola. I know that. He goes back. <laughs> Handball over the top. And he's missed. Talk was missed. He doesn't have too many shots at goal either, so he'll be very angry at that, I have to say. <clears throat> Goes straight down the guts. Kenneth Anthony marks it. And he's going to kick it straight to me. And I take the mark. And... I... <coughs> right. I explained this in coach mode, episode 8. So I'm going to explain it once more because I think it deserves it. I flick the right joystick forward and it turns into a banana kick. I do not flick it out to the right at all. Anyway, Guerra picks it up and kicks his second. Maybe we'll just let him kick the goals. Maybe I'll just, you know, tone down a bit. Because an AFL, I'll not be getting an AFL contract by kicking like Travis Cloak. Trust me. Hanlon Lindell gets his first touch of the match. Chips it short, he turns it over to Cosdanto. No, no, no. Hamble's over the top. That's a good bump there by Greer. Fair, fair bump. Picks it up. No, Martin Temple does off the ground. Berkey goes straight back into play. Kicks it to Greer. You beauty. He'll line up and kick the goal and I'll get a goal assist. Uh, no, he misses. Which is not good. Anyway, Alex Torquil off. Alex Tristan on. Three minutes left in the first quarter, which has been an okay one for the Rangers. Denmark takes the mark. Plays on. Kick it, kick it, kick it. Oh, you've missed. How do you miss that? <sighs> Two goals. Four. Hasn't been a good day. Well, haven't been a good quarter. Oh, what a mark. We have to see this on replay. Look at that. That is a cricket catch. Anyway, does he take the set shot? No, he kicks it out wide to Fred Jones. Oh, he should have had a shot because the siren goes. So, 2 4 16 plays, 0 0 0. Let's get straight into that second corner with Matty Nichols bouncing the ball. How many times do you want to turn it over? 
This is disgraceful. I love how you turn it over there as well, but Frank Dayton takes them up. You say the few disposals of this bloke. And it goes to ground and we mop it up. Uh, oh, that's clever. Straight to Kenneth Anthony when no one's on him. Penton. Okay, that's his first disposal of the match as well. Lindell. Come on, stop turning it over! God's sake. Now I can't get my earpiece in either. Throw my hands up in disgust and I knock it on. Ah, Samuel Jackson, the American actor. How many times do you want to turn the ball over? Don't turn it over, whatever you do. Good. Find space, someone is free. Alright, I just, you know, if you want to turn over, that's fine. Just expect an angry coach at half time when you haven't scored in the second quarter. Right, goes to Grand, that's okay. Pick the ball up! Oh, what can I say? Off, off the ground! It's a goal! What the hell? That's one in a million. That's his third. Chesley is off, Kieran Anderson's on for Sandringham. Pork was off, Tristan's on. Okay, they had disposal there, that's okay. And they've turned it over, Justin Penton. Fred Jones! Nearly half time here, there's only one goal for the quarter. Lindell marks. Chips it over the turnover. Why do you go back to the forward for God's sake? Oh, I'm pulling my hair out. And that's half time. So, three goals, four, 22, score, zero, zero, zero. We scored six points in that quarter. Hopefully a better second half. The coach gave us all a spray. And we're still dropping marks. We're up for his fourth. Yes, he gets it. He's got to be drafted. He is just an absolute gun. There we go. Firing out of the blocks early. 4 4 28. Coach is told I need to step up and start kicking goals. That's what you do at full forward. You kick goals. And doesn't make the distance. Marked on the line. How does that not make the distance? Belief there. Eh? Mark it. <sighs> not you, Brayden Wilson. Handballs over the top. Thank you. And the goal is kicked by Kenneth Anthony. We'll take that. Maybe they'll turn over to us this time. And we're ahead on points. Goals points, which is good. It's always a bonus. He runs with it, does he? And balls over the top. We're up for his fifth. Not nah, behind. No good. Look at me jumping up and down on the mark. Cause yeah, if I can. Hey, thank you. Turnover. Guerra, kick your fifth. Here we go. Yes, there it is. He's got a five for five goals to eleven disposal game as well. It's not bad. On that Granville off and Denmar on. Successful call. Ball. Trent Iving off. Angus Roosevelt on for. I wonder if it's related to American President Theodore Roosevelt. Probably half of you guys have don't know what I'm talking about. Shard gets his first mark of the match. Oh, Jesus. That's okay, that's good, because we've got possession. To Martin Temple, he hasn't kicked a goal yet today. And he does now. There it is, there's another goal. Good now, Brad, Brad and Wilson off, Paul Johnson on for Sandringham. 
Jamie Shard of Fred Jones is on. Lindell takes the mark. Left half forward. Anthony. Take the goal today already, but he's too far out. And he goes over the top, does he? Handball goes over the top. So who's this? Fred Jones, he gets one. You beauty. There we go. This, this is a much better quarter, and I'm going to be a much better second half here. And I'll take the shot, but I'm not going to make the distance, of course. No, I didn't. Anyway, that's three-quarter time. 8-5-53 plays 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. Let's get straight into the last quarter here at North Port Oval. Oh, what? How did he mark that? How did he mark that? <sighs> Don't go about your second quarter ways, whatever you do. Over the top. Sets it up. Shard takes the mark and should kick the goal, surely. And he hits the post. Ah, <sighs> been a few behinds, probably our most behinds we've had ever in a game this season. Look at the crowd behind the goals. Maybe you're going to see Port Melbourne playing the VFL match afterwards. <coughs> yes, buckets for hands. Yes, I've got a goal. <coughs> There's my first of the afternoon after five disposals. Not good enough for a full forward, I have to admit. There we go. Oh, goes to ground. Guira, no. Shot over to Guira for six. Yes. Why not? Why not? Jamie Shard off Ian Denmar on. Poznanto. Never turn over again. And I never turn over. <laughs> Stop the park. It's ridiculous. Over and in, over and in. Thank you. Right, directly in front. No excuse. Kenneth Anthony off Alex Tristan on. There, second goal right through the big sticks. That's what we want. There, seven disposals. That's better what we want. We want double figures. Ugh. No prior opportunity. Fred Jones is back on. God, he's going on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Well, that's really a hard tackle there, I reckon. Bang, get the big fist to it. Over the top. Can he go for seven? Nah, he's missed. It's alright though, he still gets three votes though at the... Brandlow equivalent of the Tap Cup, the Morris Medal Knight. Straight down the ground, down the guts to Tristan. I'm going to call it. <sighs> call behind. Damn it. <sighs> oh, well, uh, too far. Keep that far. Go, Guira. Go. Go for your seventh. No. Unselfish. Over the top. Kick the bloody hell. Yeah, there's no excuse for this, in that. Finish the game, then I'll sign off in a gust of mood. There's the game. So that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you enjoy. Stay tuned for episode 9 of AFL Evolution. Come to YouTube soon. But wait, wait for that, though. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. And for the moment, this is Becky Play Sign Out. It's like earn a trophy called Learning the Ropes.